This is what a dying coral reef looks like. Just 12 months after the worst known bleaching event on Australia's Great Barrier Reef, it's happened again. The warmth of the ocean means the colour is draining from coral along two thirds of the 1,400 mile long reef. For the woman who broke at the Paris Climate Agreement, it's a very timely reminder of how little time there is to cut greenhouse gas emissions. Two thirds is uh, actually an, uh, a fraction that is burned into my mind because we have actually already used up two thirds of all of the emissions that we can put up in, into the atmosphere. So we only have one third left for the rest of the history of humanity if we choose to stay on this planet. In Paris in December 2015, she stood flanked by the almost entirely male leadership of the world. Where others had failed, she closed the global deal to cut carbon emissions. Today, Figueres is launching Mission 2020, a call to remind the world that to meet the pledges made at Paris, carbon emissions must peak in just three years' time. That means no more fossil fuels for energy or for transport, and a lot less of this. But her message is not one of sacrifice, but opportunity. Hello, didn't we just see uh, the opening of a factory in Coventry that is going to produce the new electric vehicles that are going to be the taxis in London? Uh, what does that mean? We're going to have taxis that are non-polluting and we're creating jobs in Coventry. Decarbonisation is irreversible because it is going on the back of the economic interests of countries, of corporations and of investors. Her path to world's most influential environmentalist was shaped, she tells me, by becoming a mother. And how that coincided with the disappearance in 1989 of this, the golden toad. Then found only in the forests of her native Costa Rica and now extinct. And then now I'm turning over to my daughters, a planet that not only doesn't have that species, but so many others are disappearing. I just don't think it's the responsible thing to do. And furthermore, the next generation has absolutely no responsibility in this. They didn't do this. It's us. And we are the first, uh, first generation that has all the science around this. The previous generation didn't. We are the first generation that has all the technology to solve this. And we are the first generation that has all the finance to solve it. But is there the will? Europe is distracted by political crises and America is now led by a climate sceptic. But they must be a setback to have someone who's, who's got ideological issues with progress in this area. If I flatly deny gravity, that does not change the gravitational pull on me, on you, or on anybody else on this planet. While we were in the sphere of politics, I would say maybe five to 10 years ago, we're no longer into the sphere of politics. This is no longer about ideology. This is about sheer economics. The bleaching of the barrier reef is reversible if sea temperatures stop rising. And that might just be doable if you think like Christiana Figueres.